All right. We got, uh... Right. We Why got, do I hear uh... myself? Oh, no. Why do I hear oh, myself? God, no. Oh, no. Why do I hear oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. I had my Twitch channel open <laughs> on the other page. <laughs> Is that how I sound? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Why am I so... Is my camera focused? It's focused enough. You have to hear for hours a day. I pity you. Legitimately. <laughs> I got a new uh, USB cable. I really splurged. I got a 10 foot long one with a straight cable. I had a L connector before. I know it's very, I'm very excited about it. So we're probably gonna be fighting some Valstrax to start, I guess. Cause I wanna make alternate pieces, I think. On the arms. And I guess the legs. And then the other one that we're probably going to roll on is... Playing from bed with that cable? You could play from anywhere with this cable. Uh, that's no problem. When you minus a skill, does it take into effect the value of the skill when it gives you points? I think we would do the tacit because we really don't need... We really don't need Stamina Surge. We certainly don't need three points of Stamina Surge. So I want an extra Tacit. I want... The Arms. We'll drop Critical Boost, I guess. Although, I mean, Dragon Resistance is really easy to deco in, but... Well, I don't know. Dragon Resistance is really easy to deco in. I guess probably the chest. Late latent power does technically do something. So chest, tacit, and then I think we've got an extra set of legs that we don't really use. This one? Uh, no, I want to keep that one. So I need all right, and I need the legs too. So we gotta we gotta kill at least three of them. Let's do uh, let's do some multiplayer. I haven't done multiplayer in a long time. Uh, bunch of, I was saying, oh, there we go. Thank you. A uh, lot of sponsored stuff today. We got two games. Each sponsored for multiple hours. So if you're like streamer, never play variety. We're playing variety today. Thank you very much for the sponsors. Oh, bit rate's probably pretty bad right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's uh let's pump it up. Let's go up to eight thousand. Let's see if that handles it. But let me know if you can tell a difference of the bit rate in real time. Or if it looks like I gotta restart. Where is this monster? It's not Crimson Glow Valstrax. Risen. Like, did you just see the quality just like jump up just now? Cause I just pushed it up. Doesn't look like it's working. I might have to, like, quickly kill the stream. You're going to see the guy holding his head. Don't leave. All right, that looks a little bit better. That looks a lot. That looks a lot better. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to post it. Hi, 
How does this quest go in multiplayer? Probably pretty bad. Right? People die. <laughs> I'm sure it's not like clean. I don't even know that anyone's going to join me. Like it would be easier just to bring my followers, but I just thought... I thought it might be interesting to play with other people. Some of my most favorite memories of Monster Hunter was playing on ad hoc party on the PlayStation 3 and just joining random people with like full voice chat. And that was just really nice. I didn't really meet anyone that was like mean. Do you think is Switch like a dead platform? I'm sure if you switched your region to Japan, you'd probably get a decent amount of people joining. Well, somebody just joined. I mean, not to continually beat the dead horse. God knows it doesn't deserve it, but can you imagine how many people would join if this was like full crossplay? How nice that would be with like the world lobby system. Woo! World and Rise are essentially like the same for like player base on Steam. It's actually insane. What's better, <laughs> Rise or World? Wild Hearts, because it has full crossplay. You know, at one point, Ed, and, uh, a chat member, was saying he, he moderates for, like, a larger streamer. And he said at a certain point, he had to, like, start timing out. Like, they added the word your favorite or the words your favorite to, like, the auto mod list. And, like, that's so weird. Like, why would you get rid of that? Like, that's, like, such a common question. And he said, you'll, you'll find out. You'll, you'll find out eventually. And, like, obviously, if you get it, like, once or twice a stream, like, who cares? But, like, there, I, I swear to God, there are some streams. There, it's too much to even be coordinated trolling. It's just, like, 20 questions in an hour. Like, what's your favorite? 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 Like, Jesus Christ, man. Automod, your favorite, and which is better? It's like a hive mind? I mean, it it reminds me a little bit of, like, trying to think where I saw it. Somebody was trying to discuss what makes, and you can disagree with this, obviously, um, the guy on Hot Takes, like, a good interviewer. Like, what, what, what makes a good interview question? And it comes down to, like, like being prepared, you know, like, knowing a little bit about the subject before you even ask the question. And it's just like, I mean, I'm not saying it's Twitch chat's job to come up with interesting questions, but when it comes to something like, what's your favorite X? I don't know, what the hell do you see me playing? With? <laughs> do you ever see me using light boga? No, okay. Well, do you think it's my favorite weapon? No. I like Rise more than World. It's really GU. I like the hometown suck down a trough of gravy sort of experience when it comes to playing my video games. How am I not dead? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, doesn't that move kill you? Why am I not dead? No, I didn't even make an attempt to guard because I, you know what I thought? I thought that move was going to, like, knock me to the ground. But it actually, like, didn't flinch me at all. Like, I just stood there. I think it was because of um, Intrepid Heart. I think Intrepid Heart actually maybe killed me there. Uh-oh. 
Well, that ain't good. Well, you know what? At least we made an attempt to do this quest in multiplayer. I mean, I'm not saying it's over. Would you be wrong, though, to say it is over, though? But hey, am I? 211? Something like that. Somebody else is joining. Oops. He's about to carry to victory? I mean, we're both down a cart. Oops, I keep screwing up, man. Too much Potion Tycoon. By the way, A, thank you Potion Tycoon for the sponsorship yesterday, and, and B, I did play it after the stream ended last night. I was able to make a profit. Do you guys want to know the secret? What do you get for max level? Nothing. 211's the most important one, and it's not even really that important. Rather show us the secret? I will. After... <laughs> after the second sponsored game. We will play yesterday's sponsored game. Scam them for potions? It's just the tutorial doesn't set you up to actually make a profit. It's a it's a wild week, B Sponge. I, I gotta I gotta be real with you. We, we're very fortunate. Did I complete the tutorial? No. <laughs> Why am I going over here? Why are we going this way? We want to get that. We want to get the Seregios. What do you got? Insect glaive. Oh, Shup's here. Thank God. I got Seregius. Get a late right as stream started. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll probably play it for a little bit. I, I, I at least like the, the, I don't know that the end game is particularly hard because once you start making a profit, as far as I know, there's no time limit. Other than the other potion sellers will gradually develop potions that beat your potions in popularity. So you're kind of pushed a little bit. You so chat the master's degree was worth it. You know, the only thing that I am grateful for my master's degree for, it wasn't even for the many years of work that it helped me acquire. It's the fact that financially I'm not a hot, stinking pile of garbage like many other um, paid internet clowns that have to claim to go to the well, you know, every couple months to get chat to pay their bills for them. I'm, I'm a little grateful for that. I mean, you got large streamers, very large streamers like, oh, I need your sub. No, you don't. You're lying. No, 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 no. No. I have a master's. I have a master's in economics. I have been slandered on the internet and people have said that I have a math degree. That is not really true. Although I did need to know calculus for my degree. Some calculus, not a lot of calculus. And yeah, I didn't have to be very good at it. Okay, I can kind of block it, huh? That's not too bad. What's the integral? <laughs> Uh, you don't pay me nearly enough for that. Nowadays, I would just ask chat GPT. I, I didn't do very well in calculus. I got like, um, I took it once. I didn't do my homework and I got like a D. And then took it again and I got a B. Chat GPT is bad at math. That can't be 
it's got to be at least a little bit better at getting that simple integral than anything else that I would say. I'm leaving there. They just, they, they hide very important upgrades in the research tree. Critical upgrades. I would say it's more important to show people the upgrade tree before you even show them how to make a, po a potion. So I think you start the game with potions made. And that's not that helpful. We're talking about potion typing. They sponsored us yesterday. They should say, you've got a crappy potion with production line up. Now here's what happens when you do research and you upgrade this component of the potion. He's leaving, right? Yeah. It was okay. I mean, like most degrees, you know, a couple years after you get it, is it even, <laughs> is it even worth anything? You know, how, how different is my economics degree now? How, how different is the understanding of economics compared to what it was pre and post pandemic? It was a, a lot different. Market for everything. Definitely not the same. Although I do remember a professor, me saying like, yo, what happens if the U.S. gets too much debt? And he's like, it's impossible. They will just continually print money forever. And actually so far that's been about true. They weren't wrong. I don't know, man. Every time I'm like, socialist revolution is coming, capitalists find yet another way to make it not happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm right there with you, bud. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll drop some bombs. Sure, why not? Don't look at me. Why don't you set it up? I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm okay with Yellowstone erupting. I want to be very clear about that. You know, I don't, you know, I don't sit around like hoping every day it's going to happen. But, you know, if, if, you gave me like a questionnaire <laughs> and it was like a yes or no question. Should Yellowstone erupt? Government's asking whether or not we want to like start dropping, um, you know, bundles of TNT or whatever into Yellowstone. I, I, I could, I could be convinced. Yeah, I mean, imagine how dope it would be, like, actually being at Yellowstone and getting, like, jettisoned, like, two miles into the air by the eruption. That's, like, hype as hell, man. What was he aiming at? Oh, well, he's really going for the other. Can I land this? Maybe? Not a fan of heights? I mean, they're scary, sure.
we have a one in four in a chance of big meteor hitting us in a few decades. I don't, but like, like what meteor? You know what I mean? Like a real meteor? Or like just something that's just gonna like collide into the ocean and like shoot a bunch of water in the air. Ooh, that was a great job. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Drop it on. Drop it! Hit me! Full strength with that meteor. Alright, we're almost there. We got a tail, right? Oh, there it is. A lightning rod, but for meteor. <laughs> There's got to be, like, some ritual or something that you could do. Like a rain dance. But, like, for Meteor. <laughs> meteor dance. Man. I, I know this is going to be, like, Omega Boomer. Because it is. But it was so hype in Final Fantasy 2 slash 4. The whole lore and hyping up the Meteo spell. That was awesome, man. A lot, of, a lot of conversations. I guess there was a big conference or something recently. A lot of discussions were being had with Japanese game developers. And there was a really interesting... Oh, absolutely carried by Shep. Really interesting point made that was saying, like, a lot of the early popular game consoles post-Atari were all Japanese-made. So when a Japanese game developer had a question, you could just, like, ask in your native language about, like, what was going on. You know, and obviously there's different cultural sensibilities as well to what maybe led to better or worse games. But then as time went on, like, especially like in like the Xbox 360 era, there was like a confluence of things of like, you know, programming was now kind of like just programming for a PC, so they didn't necessarily have a competitive advantage. And then I think Noxella posted a link that would s said... Japanese 3D modeling programs in the in Japan were bought out by like a non supportive company. And so like people just didn't have like support tools. Oh man, I was so excited that I had three of them. I mean, you know, what what is the safest thing in the world to do? Something's going to happen in the next 400 years. You'll be long dead before anything happens. <laughs> Who's going to know? I think I think we'll do a multiplayer a couple times. And then who's the um Japanese developer of Castlevania. It's almost as sad as what happened to Kojima. Uh, I know somebody in chat probably just posted it. Igarashi, I think. Igarashi was like, yeah, I was chilling at Konami and everything was great. And then we released... Harmony of Dissonance or something like that. And that was like the turning point. And then after that, they put him on like the mobile game division. <laughs> and he was like, I think it's time to go. 
Konami just really like they're almost like a good example of what companies are doing nowadays when like they're going all in on NFTs. They like start canceling all of their main game projects. Like, it's very similar. Will you bring Wild Hearts again or only when there are new updates? Will I bring it? What, you mean, will I play it? Yeah, I mean, I want to finish all the side quests at some point. I guess I may as well do it on stream. Big Pokemon team just said they're going to NFT yesterday, but like... I'm not, I'm not saying there's a good NFT or a bad NFT. I think the question is, like, what do you mean by that? Are you just going to go on some random marketplace and let somebody pay you, like, $10,000 to $50,000 on an object that's going to be worthless? Or are they going to, like, try and, like, actually integrate it into their video games? You know? I'm not saying I'm happy with either of them. But, you know, if it's like what Capcom did and they just said, all right, you can pay us however much money in U.S. dollars so you can print, create whatever, Street Fighter NFTs. Japanese government gave tax benefits for Japanese companies to invest in NFTs. That is possibly the dumbest thing to happen in Japanese financial history next to uh, the government lending money in the 80s to Japanese companies. That sucks. What a waste. Th those of you unaware, what was going on in the 80s, uh, Japan had a lot of competitive advantage in terms of like, you know, their technology and everything like that. But one thing that they really had over lots of other companies is the government was basically just giving like unlimited amounts of loans to these Japanese companies in order for them to be able to continue to grow and expand and compete with outside countries. And like, you know, that works for a while um, until like, you know, you started finding companies like had done nothing. That's a, that's a big problem, number one. And then B, you know, the inflation and everything like that should catch up, you know? Although I don't know how much, although honestly, I don't know that inflation was that big of a deal in Japan. But certainly there was a major crash and uh, reconciliation of like all this money that these companies owed to the government that was never going to get paid back. My potions are weak. We're going to play the potion game at the end of the stream. I'll show you my potions are not weak. We're going to start a new game. How old was I during that? Well, this was the 80s. I was obviously born in... 1997. Oh. I'm going to stream RE4? Probably? I'm actually really excited about RE4. I wasn't very excited about RE8. I played it a little bit. I never beat it. I mean, it, it's a fun game. You know, it'll be some fun variety. Super so, hey, what's going on, buddy? In the 80s, you could spend $3 for an all-you-can-eat buffet at Wendy's. I you know, but the thing is, is like Vampire Mommy is the very beginning of the game. And then she's like not around. I never had a chance to actually use the super bar. I remember arcade games at Pizza Hut. For sure. They always had a machine that never really worked. It was just a Super Nintendo hooked up to an arcade cabinet. That was kind of neat. Wow, that's a very long hitbox. Ooh! Well, that's embarrassing. Arcade games at laundromats? There's always like Pac-Man or something hanging around, right? The rare rise card? I don't know, man. 
Prison Valstrax is pretty hard. In the only way that he can be hard, in that he will kill you in two hits. Almost nothing can one-shot you in the game. It might just be nothing. Wallet, thank you. Combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell? I don't think I've ever seen Combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell. I've definitely seen like Long John Silvers connected with something else. A and W? I believe you, but for some reason I feel like I've never seen an A and W before in my life. <laughs> And you know what, for a long time, I was like a huge defender of uh, Dairy Queen food. But their quality's slipping, man. Warren Buffett must not have his like nose on the uh, corporation anymore. They're not what they used to be. Is he leaving? He's leaving. It's just gotten kind of sad and gross. Maybe it's just my restaurant. No, Dairy Queen food used to be legit good, man. Their food used to be good. Like 10 years ago. The The Dairy Queen I went to, when, he, when it had the good manager, was great. Unfortunately, I think, and like, I don't, I don't want to slander anyone. I think he got mixed up in drugs. And last I saw him, he was working part-time at a gas station. And now I don't see him around anymore. But they used to be good. I mean, the quality of the food is definitely way better on the burgers, even now, than, like, McDonald's and Burger King. It's just, like, not as good as it used to. It used to be, like, really good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you're talking about the guy or if you're talking about the food. Yeah. It's not hard to be better than Burger King. <laughs> well, ain't that the truth. Will you fall in here? He is back. He might be somebody watching. Nostalgia filter always makes fast food taste better in the past. I don't know, man. Some stuff just gets worse. This companies like try to keep the costs the same, but like realistically they shouldn't. But then it would be too expensive and no one would buy it. There's really, there's no easy. Play the better version of Super Auto Pets today? I have no idea what you're talking about. You want me to play actual, like, League Battle Chess? Hearthstone Battle, I'm not playing Hearthstone Battleground. I don't, you're the only person I know of that has even mentioned Battleground. <laughs> I like the Super Auto Pets, man. I don't want to be downloading Hearthstone for anything. Even when I lose, I have a good time in Super Auto Pets, which is an amazing thing to say for Super Auto Pets. He moves too much, man. No, 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 no! It's more popular than League Auto Chess? Well, I'm assuming League just, like, got popular with it when... Were they the first ones to do it? 
Who was the first main popular auto chess? I know League was up there. It's just with like a lot of League stuff, it always feels so hard to get into unless like you're already like knuckle deep into the lore and everything. What's auto chess? It's when you buy a bunch of units that have some sort of a synergy and then they fight automatically. And so you get them stuff like equipment and you set their positions, but then like the fights go automatically. Like Dokkan Bottle? Yeah, whatever, man. No! <laughs> I just like... Like, I don't want to use, like, um, like, a more mobile weapon would probably be safer. We'll keep, see, like, I don't want to, like, I want to do one solo now, because I don't want people saying, oh, streamer, little baby streamer's got to get carried to clear the quest. A little baby streamer can't do it on his own. I mean, technically, I can't, because I'm bringing <laughs> NPCs, but still. It's okay, we understand. Thank you, that means a lot to me. Things are just getting expensive, man. Things are just expensive. I remember you could get four cases of Coca-Cola. It's like 10 or $12. Now you're lucky to find one case for $6. Shake my hand. I just like, I like my son. Look, I've got one Risen Valstrax proving tough. Now we're fine. I mean, I've carded a couple times, but we, we, we won one, we lost one. 24 pack is 12. If they're on, well, well hold, hold on. That's the price I made. I mean, cans are just there because like they're convenient. You're paying for a little luxury and to make sure every every sip of that soda is is fresh. Now, if you're a big time chugger, you know, slamming down a lot of soda every day, you may as well get the one liters. I think that's where the value is. The one liters are usually under two dollars. Price per volume is usually lower as well. Funny seeing me walk past four helpers. I don't walk past all of them. I walk past some of them. I only need one more. One liter can last you three days. A one liter would last me three days too. Uh, chugging down a liter of cola a day is ill advised. I'm not smoking. I'm not free basing meth. I'm not even drinking alcohol, all right? Let me enjoy my fizzy pop. Think about my health. I think about how good it tastes, man. You drink four liters a day, now you drink water? Sometimes I'll get into like, if I'm like trying to be healthy, I'll drink a lot of water instead. But like, you know, like it's, you know, it's, it, look, I know it's really not that much better for you. Like someday the research is actually gonna come out and they're gonna be like, actually, there's no difference between drinking diet soda and real soda. I know that. I know that. This is a little one, huh? You see that? We were discussing in the stream, the Discord, Somebody was noticing that different weapons have different guard radiuses. And that was definitely just now an example of something that was basically way more than 180 guard radius. Oh, 
I didn't block it. Even in the same weapon type? It, it's based on weapon class. So, like, Lance and Gun Lance, I think, are, like, something insane. Like, 270? Whereas, like, Sword and Shield is something like 140. Obviously, don't take those numbers. Those are just off the top of my head. But that's the, the concept. Monster 6 will have a new weapon type? Yes. And I designed it. I can't tell you what it is. I'm under NDA. Sword and shield. Oh, heavy bow guns, 120? Wow. No wonder it always feels so awkward uh, guarding with heavy bow gun. I, I'm of the opinion that they're going to give us the ability to switch weapons in Monster Hunter 6. I feel like that and like crafting stuff like Wild Hearts a little bit in the field will be mechanics that they could utilize. Yeah, I think so. I, I could see them doing like a weapon switch in combat. Uh, well, like scroll swap, maybe not quite as obnoxious. Everyone gets a melee and a ranged weapon? I would actually hate that. <laughs> No, not like that, though. <laughs> He's ambushing, right? something that I saw somebody mention somewhere. Not that anyone is like really tweaking out about it. But uh, where the hell is Pragmata? They announced that game like what, right when this current gen of consoles was announced. And like I don't think we've seen anything about it. It's allegedly coming out this year. Who? It's a game being developed by Capcom. It's called Pragmata. It's got like Spaceman and like a little girl gives you a thumb up. I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Like it is 2023. Like we're here. <laughs> we do somehow, some way against all odds, we made it. I don't know what the hell what I don't know what's going on. I don't know what that was. Who cares? Silk Song is coming. I'm gonna make a lot of enemies here. I mean, Hollow Knight was good. Was it that good? That, like, you're going to, like, dedicate the rest of your life to, like, another 2D Metroidvania game. It's no... It's no Dead Cells. That's as far as I'm going to go. He cares more about his Capcom stocks than Hollow Knight. <laughs> I didn't check them today. I enjoyed Hollow Knight. I beat it. Did I get all the endings? Definitely not. Did I beat all the DLC? Also definitely not. But I mean, I enjoyed it. 
But like people attach their entire existence to Silk Song. You're like, what? Well, I just don't get it. You're like Dead Cells more than Hollow Knight? I mean, it, if you want something that's like extremely replayable, Dead Cells, I don't know. I just feel like it, it wins. I don't know. I guess the boss fights in Hollow Knight are a little bit better. No Grim Guardians Demon Purge? Is that the official name or did they change it? Didn't they change it? They will be asking about Dead Cells the whole stream. The hardest part about Dead Cells is you can't, you gotta, you gotta choose one. Oops. Wow, that was a lot of damage. You gotta choose gambling or you gotta choose chat interaction. You cannot do both. <laughs> I mean, we blocked it. We just, you know, didn't block it enough. Like Axiom Verge? Never played it. Looks interesting. I've never seen a more sadistic Twitch chat than when you give them the ability to both gamble on your death and then control your death. Because unlocks for using each follower a hundred times. I wonder how close I am to that. I carved this right. Play Rift Breakers again? I don't see. I don't mind that because like that feels like a little bit more. I don't know that fair is not the right word. Seen Vox Machina? I don't think so. My issue is the last time I played it, I played it on like <laughs> the hardest DLC map ever. That was there for people that said the game was too easy, and so, like, the developers wanted to punish them. <laughs> Should probably not do that. Can I, like, wall bang you? Say Deep Rock Galactic with you? Uh, if I'm like, if I'm, if I'm in the mood for, I mean, I've done, I've done Deep Rock Galactic in Discord before. It's a really fun game. I don't know if I want to stream it. It's just so like, when you, for me, it's just, and maybe this is like a me problem. Like when I'm doing like a stream and you've got like four people talking on the mics. And like, obviously like you don't expect everybody to have broadcast level mics to just like playing a video game. It just can get really, I don't know, really difficult to listen to people. I get this, and this, this. Oh, he's almost done. EDF? I played EDF before. It's been a long time since I played an EDF. I think I own one from like something. I just know the more recent ones have gotten increasingly more anime. So I need to double check. Actually, I, I might be wrong. We might already have a piece of Valstrax armor that has Furious on it. In fact, I know we do. So we just need to meld the other ones. Oh, nice. We got two anyways. Oh, did Seth make a video about Earth Defense Force?
All right, so we got we got it on the head, and we lost attack boost for it. I mean, that was definitely worth it. I'm going to make another chest. I think I want to try and gem out the... How many points of Furious does that make? I only have one right now. But we want to get three. It's got increasing returns to scale. That third point is, like, massive. I'm going to do save scumming, but it might be better just to do the normal augment for a little while. Look at what I've become. I, I haven't done anything yet. Well, we should at least find out. <laughs> should at least find out if it's possible to get furious on um, a normal roll. Oh, it is a nine point, so it's not possible. All right then. We got yours through a normal roll? Was it on um, Furious, though? That's not bad. Oh, it is possible. Well, this will be a lot cheaper. So it's possible to roll, like, just Furious and nothing else? That would be, like, amazing. Caramel tea smells amazing? I have to get a special tea to treat myself. I'd get, like, a, like a chai or something. I don't know if I'd get caramel. I mean, that's not bad either. Not what we're going for. The trick is, is just to force yourself not to get distracted by shiny objects <laughs> as you're rolling on things. This is very easy. Well, the trick is getting furious to drop um, and not remove elemental conver dragon conversion. I mean, we got a lot of roll juice. We said it's like a 0.8% chance, but it's gotta, it's gotta be like a 0.8% chance on top of rolling that skill category or whatever, right? ZMTL, thank you. ZMTL gifted Lady Amatsu a subscription. ZMTL gifted a tier one sub to Lady Amatsu. They have given 45 gift subs in the channel. Agitator's not bad. Actually, it, it, never mind. I take that. Oh! 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 
That's crazy. And we didn't even get negative on resistances. I don't know what you would use the load shell. Well, charge blade. We'll go for it in the legs. I really like my leg roll. I think I'll just roll for it on, on another pair of arms. Yeah, I mean, we'll, I, I will probably end up making elemental charge blades at some point. I had a hard time. I had a really hard time, guys. You went on it for all three dragon conversion pieces for consistency? I'm I'm rolling because um I don't want to have to worry too much about it being overwritten. But to be fair, I've We got it on the head and we got it on the chest. I guess the tacit. Honestly, I mean, I could give up on stamina search. The thing is, is like, I already have like kind of decent rolls there. Like wind mantle and a, and a deco upgrade and speed sharpen and two deco upgrades. Like, that's pretty good. Whereas this is just like crit element. Like nobody. <laughs> nobody cares. You know, I mean, if we did care, I mean, that's a decent level four slot to make, um, to get your full crit up, elemental crit up. Because you're going to use a level two, you may as well use a level four. You probably have an extra one somewhere. Real slot plus furious. I mean, we probably have like the slots to get. There. Like, we've got a lot of juice. The thing is, is obviously we want to start. I, I say stockpile. I mean, that's kind of like an unhinged thing to say, but like having having a, a bunch of extra rolls available for the next update is gonna be helpful. That's genuinely better than what is it we already have elemental exploit somewhere i think i was gonna say i could switch it You know, it really wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I jinxed it? Hold on, I'm going to save my game. We're going to get it, though. And we got, we got 400 rolls, man. <laughs> You rolled 200 times and never found one? Dude, I already have two of them. How's it you have zero? You didn't want it bad enough? Are you saying that my force of will <laughs> somehow surpasses yours when it comes to wanting Furious? Maybe. Ooh. 
Those intrepid heart, not that important anymore. I wonder if we'll ever have enough room or desire to ever use grinder. I guess it kind of depends on the weapon still, right? Another job you're watching stream on the work computer? You hear that story about that time I installed a bunch of video games on the library work computers? Then I went to a website to download King of Fighter and it had a bunch of like King of Fighter sprites all over the screen and it tried to install a virus. And I got called into the manager's office and she was like, why did you go to the website? <laughs> I said, I was looking at games. I said, don't do that. I said, all right. I remember playing Final Fantasy Tactics and one of my coworkers was like, isn't that game boring? Like, why do you got to wait for everybody to attack? And it was like, how dare you? There's Dragonheart. That's kind of cool. I should have killed him? What the? F uh, we're going to keep this. And we're going to roll on our other arms. You <laughs> should have killed him. That's a little extreme, don't you think? You gotta, you gotta get the murder. I mean, that's not terrible either. Not what we're looking for, though. I just think, I want to keep that dragon heart because, like, that's like... That's straight up a level 4 deco. We might be able to make that work with dragon in some way. We would need to run Dereliction with it, right? Oh, maybe we'll get a easier way of getting Dereliction in the next update. Maybe they'll let us deco it in or something. Or there'll just be other pieces that have it. Although Dereliction only works in blue, right? Never mind. Next update will invalidate. Oh, it's going to invalidate everything. Definitely going to set us back, though. Well, we really didn't. We, like, majorly phoned it in for a couple updates. But to be fair, so did Capcom. Furious being a two slot. Three slot, if not a four slot, at least. Knowing how powerful it is on armor augments with elemental conversion? Are you crazy? Doesn't it give you, like, infinite stamina as well? Which, I mean, isn't a big deal anymore, but it used to be. Watch it be, like, a one... a one slot. <laughs> Watch this... Both be wrong. His arms look like Tonfa's. I don't really like the way they look. I mean, the infinite stamina in Sunbreak is in some ways better than even like Mega Dash juices in the previous games. Like with Berserk and Strife, like you just have infinite stamina. I mean, unless you start taking like a ton of damage, but on dual blades, like you really shouldn't be taking a lot of damage. So mobile. And that first one came so easy. It just like glided right in. It's like a bird landing on your finger. Tweeting at you. Nothing. If 
But it's the most important one to get. Give me taste, I'd get hooked. But like, I they gave me a, t a taste twice. Maybe that's how they wanted to make sure. Maybe they knew I was resistant to addiction, so. The next, the, the, the game sponsor for the stream is going to be like, oh, I wonder what he did before he, uh, before doing anything. He's going to check it out and be like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life, kid? Remember when that was a thing? People would call each other kid. I never liked that. What was that? That's a weird the language is weird. Nothing personal get oh, I see I like that. That doesn't bother me. What's is this? End of game of base Strangers of Paradise? <laughs> you referring to the Griffin? I like the Griffin. There was one day, I remember it very clearly, and I have never been more confused in my life. We hit a relatively high average concurrent viewer count of like 300 people, and they just watched me farm the griffin for like four hours. <laughs> and I remember being like, why are you here? Why are you watching me do this? I'll, I'll actually never know the answer. I could I could hear each one of your individual answers, but for that to like happen is just like strange. <laughs> and then like when I need people to watch, when there's like brand new content, I'm being sponsored. Like for 80 people stick around. I had more people watching. Podcast reruns. Then watch Stranger Paradise. It's like actively upsets people. Like, what the, the fuck is this? I'm getting out of here. Team Ninja, man. And they, they, they must have done some sort of a deal with the devil. I still haven't really gone through. DLC 3 on Strangers of Paradise. I don't know if and when I will. Maybe I'll make a new save. Maybe something like that on PC. Maybe I'll play it. No! 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 It's called release the beast because you don't understand. This is the worst possible time. This is the worst possible time to raid me. This is the worst possible time. It was a good roll, though. It didn't have any negatives. We just got to go through 300 times. Autosave is the worst in this game, dude. I hate the autosave in this game. Wallowing in shame, though? Thank you very much, Dave. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. It's there. We just gotta... <laughs> we just gotta not miss it. I find it strange that they have seeded results. And it's not true random. World was like that for your decorations. Did I save after the dragon heart roll? I think I did.
I didn't. That's it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's actually fine. No, it's fine. Because we're going to get it anyways. Oh my god. Well, we're like 200 down. What if I skip it again? We got content for the next section of the stream. It's like we're doing a long stream today, guys. We're, we're probably going to be going to like 10, 11 at night. This is what this is what people are get when they ask for sunbreak. What's up? Um, we're getting three piece furious. We're gonna get it. Can I put the subway surfers on in the corner? The silver surfer? Who are the subway surfers? What are you talking about? Subway surfers. What? A mobile game? I have... Guys, this is really bad. Like, I, I must have, like, a brain bleed or something. I have no idea what you're talking about. This is really bad. What are you talking about? What is a subway surfer? Like the Silver Surfer? Temple Run? It's, oh, it's like Temple I know Temple Run. Is that like a new mobile game? Or a recently rediscovered mobile game? Dementia Kicking? I never played it. How old is it? There it is. All right, so now we're gonna save. Like, why wouldn't you just say Temple Run, man? Like, why do you got to be, like, a hipster about it? <laughs> Subway Surfers. I once had a sponsorship from Schick Razor Blades. And the sponsorship was to play their Temple Run clone for, like, I think it was, like, 30 minutes. That was tough. But it just seems like a knockoff. They'd be like asking me like streamer play Floppy Bird in the corner. Like I know what Flappy Bird, like what's Floppy Bird? <laughs> that, that's probably a real thing. Floppy Bird is probably a real thing. Some TikToks have subway surfers playing under the TikTok to stimulate the attention span of the viewers. I saw something like that for the movie My Dinner with Andre. And it was some random video that was playing underneath it. Saying like, in order for Zoomies to have enough attention span to be able to watch it, you need to have something else playing. And I think it's really rude. I, I don't... I think that, like, any any time in history that a generation ever would be able to try and, like, insult a younger generation, I think we're completely past that. Like, I think the boomers just ruined it like they ruined everything else. They're just so mean about it. Am I a boomer? No. I do hate children online. Well, I mean, it's okay to hate children in general. Because, like, they're always going to be children. But, like, to say it's, like, a, a, a fault of their generation. Like, early Monster Hunter apologists? The thing, the thing that gets me is people that twist early Monster Hunter into something that it isn't. 
I was in YouTube comments, known source of divine wisdom. And there was a guy that was talking about cool drinks in the YouTube video. And the guy in the comments was like, early Monster Hunter was so hard. You didn't have enough money to buy cool drinks. You had to go in the field and craft them yourself. Like, brother, there are a hundred zenny. You can carry three of them at a time. Like, uh, the, the, probably the fairest, harshest criticism you can get of early Monster Hunter is money's pretty tight in dose. And that stays true pretty much forever. And if you want to make, like, you know, um, a pitfall trap uh, or a shock trap in Monster Hunter, all right, you got to do some gathering there. It's just like cool drinks is like such a weird, weird thing for the guy in the YouTube comments to like latch on to. He just, he was just wrong. It makes you wonder, like, did they play the game? I don't, maybe they have Alzheimer's. I, I mean, I know I do. Maybe they don't remember it. That's why I have to keep playing the games. Yeah, you know, plays you off, you know, with, with frogs. 100%. And then, you know, there's there's another guy in the comments. He was like, you know, I remember it being really hard to get sonic bombs for the cephalos. And that that is true. <laughs> sonic bombs for getting your uh, livers or whatever. That That is hell. I think we've got like 90 more to go, but I'm like trying to slow it down. Now, something I did note after playing the game through a couple times is technically the Cephalos have like a three point system and they'll run up and they usually stop at each one of the three points. So if you stand at a point with like a hammer or a great sword or like a lance, you could usually hit them and pop them out and then carve them. It's like a triangle of cephalos. But it's still way easier if you just take like a 20 minutes, 30 minutes to farm up a, a bunch of sonic bombs. I think if you fight, even in Monster Hunter on PlayStation 2, I think if you fight Kutku, I think they give you like two or three sonic bombs every time. So you can just like bring those with you and like that's that's fine. Mandatory head quests? I, I like the egg quests. I mean, when they're difficult, when they're baby mode, I mean, I don't like them. World was the beginning of the end. Letting you roll with the eggs. You have like permanent lander for the most part. It's not real lander, but. Rise has some like side quests that require you to deliver eggs. All right, we're getting there, guys. I want to save. Don't do it. You're better than this. I know we're getting there. Don't, don't fall into its rhythm. It was like around 200. I saw that slugger and I was freaking out because it was a yellow skill. We're not 60 rolls away. No, no, no. It's closer than that. Uh, uh. 
I know it's close. I want to save. I'm saving. I don't want to skip it. Coward? Yeah, I'll take it. You're not wrong. There it is! And it's on the head, right? Is this fully augmented? It's got to be close, right? I'm getting really worried about my reserves of... Stuff. Like my materials for melding, like this is not looking good. Hundred and fifty three? Hundred and fifty three without any armor skills. Is rolling for that just hoping, or is that you can know it's a possible Well, we know it's a possible roll. And so if it's a possible roll, it's just, you know. How <laughs> How long do you want to keep rolling? Oh, we were going for Rapid Morph, weren't we? Maybe we got something good here. The stat boosts to the, the slots themselves is, is huge. Absolutely huge. Switch X is a little bit harder to build for. In general. I guess we don't really need like full crit. Not that that's really that big of an issue anyways. We certainly don't need crit element, which was already on the arms before. We will need a uh, full razor sharp on this, though. Yeah. Uh, not sharp. Protective polish. I don't see elemental exploit on this. Must have been on another piece. We definitely want one point. I mean, probably just two points of weakness exploit is all we can really fit. But again, it's not its not that big of a deal. We'll be hitting at like 70%. I don't really have a great talisman. So I'm not going to really cry about it. I think it'll still hit pretty hard when it does hit. Uh, Intrepid Heart, I guess. We have full stun resistance. We do. We can put full speed sharpening on, I guess. That's like a lot of thunder. <laughs> That's 200 thunder, man. Let's do like, uh, do like a Hermitar, I guess.
Any reason to roll a regular augment instead of skill augment? Um, so my understanding, this is from chat, I've not tested this myself, is the only thing that skill plus does is it guarantees a negative skill roll and a negative like defense or uh, elemental resistance roll. So with that in mind, technically the normal roll could give you the same thing that skill plus would. It's just skill plus is gonna give you a, a larger budget to spend on. Budget being like, you know, other skills that you might get, but pretty much any single year skill you're looking for, you should be able to get with just a normal roll. Forces the budget to increase. Now, a little bit of an issue with that is on Valstrax armor. Skill plus can maybe be a negative because, like, you really don't want... And, like, I, I'm guilty of it. I've got definitely have some sets that have skill plus on it. Um, you don't really want to be giving up a lot of your elemental resistances because that's damage. Oh, I didn't change. All right, hold on. Something's a little off on this. I'm supposed to have um, counter on blue. But definitely with a better rapid morph talisman, I should be able to have I switch to blue scroll. There's a uh, elemental resistance buff you get. Just gonna manually reload. Uh, elemental convert. I think it's called elemental conversion that technically gives it. Dragon conversion. Okay. I keep like not latching on and it's making me cry. It's not a huge buff, but I mean, it's a couple points and it really doesn't take long for it to come up. We'll even, we'll double check after the quest to see how much it even adds. I don't want your arm. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. I'm gonna break both of his claws at this point. I, I swear, I haven't been able to latch on to him even once. So we're at 209. If I switch to blue, I lose the buff. It only gives four element. That's not a lot. But, I mean, I don't know. It's four element. That's 2% more element. <laughs> Would you spend 30 seconds without extra damage to get 2% more damage for the rest of the hunt? I guess it depends on how long the hunt is. How do we have so much defense? Uh, we've got defense plus 
six and a bunch of elemental resistances. I like how so many things like don't even affect me. I don't even know why. And once you see like the little, it's like a little multicolor shield up in the corner. That's how you know you got the buff. I mean, elemental, elemental switch axe doesn't really need it. And if I had a level three slot, I would definitely be using Elemental Bane. You, <laughs> you augmented it just to put it in. You like it that much, huh? Well, I'm pretty happy with the set. It's a matter of taste. You know what? There. You built it onto your hunting horn? The Switcher Deco? 209 thunder, man. That's a lot of thunder, dude. Hanoa was giving us a defense buff as well, which is why we're up around that 1100 amount. That's a pretty good amount of thunder. You use Charge Master Elemental Greatsword build? You're doing Strong Arm Element and not Surge Slash Element? Curious. Do a hard monster. Uh, I got news for you, bud. We've got the hardest monster. The seedy underbelly of an 80s city. That's like almost okay. I'm doing Surge Slash? I feel like you don't get enough charges for it, but I don't know. Maybe one point is okay. All right, we got to switch over to our our sponsor today. We'll be going back to Monster Hunter. This is not the end of Monster Hunter. Let's go, ads. Don't leave! Monster Hunter is dead. We're, we we might even play. People really enjoyed the uh, the sponsored game yesterday, Potion Tycoon.